Now we are ready to install a fresh copy of Windows 10 from the prepared USB drive that we created in the previous lecture. You need to restart your computer and boot it from the USB drive. To achieve this goal, you may need to enter into your BIOS settings, or simply you need to select boot drives options. It usually works by selecting a delete key or F2 key, F10 key or F12 key from your keyboard. It varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. Or simply you need to find and select boot drive option by pressing correct key while the computer starts to boot up from the very beginning after a restart. And then select a removable USB drive which we prepared earlier. Now press enter key to start the computer to boot from the USB drive. You will see this window setup window. From this window, select your own language, time and currency format and keyboard input method. Or stay on current preference and go next. Click install now button. Setup is starting. You need to enter your valid Windows product key. But if you are not ready for now, you can do it later. I am going to skip this option for now by clicking I don't have a product key link. Now you have two more options. According to your previous operating system edition, you need to select professional or home edition from this window. How can you specify the correct Windows version for you? Well, for example, if your PC have genuine Windows 7 Home Edition or 32-bit uh, version installed, you can simply select Windows 10 Home for 32-bit version. Or it was a uh, Windows 7 Professional 64-bit version, then go for Windows 7 Pro 64-bit version. Here, x86 architecture means it runs 32-bit operating system x86 is just a level or branding for all 32-bit operating system. Now select Windows 10 Pro and click next. Accept the software license terms and go next. This is the most interesting part of new or clean installation of Windows. If you want to keep your existing files, settings and other applications you can simply select the first upgrade options. And if you don't need all these items and you want to install a clean version of Windows, then go for the second option. So now select custom install Windows only advanced option. This is the disk drive selecting option. Please carefully select the correct drive in which you are going to install Windows 10. You can delete, create and format disk partition as well. Here I have an unallocated disk space. Click new to create a partition from that disk now. Also you can specify your disk partition size. Click OK. Windows might need a small amount of additional partition for system files only. Click OK. Select the newly created partition or remain unchanged. Now click Next again. It will start copying files, ready them for installation, install features and update. It will take a little time to finish up the current progress. After that, it will start the machine. Now it's getting the device ready. It will restart the system several times. In this window, you can customize your few settings by clicking this link. But for now, I'm going to use Express Settings. From Create an Account for this PC window, Give a username and password along with a password hint. It is a local user account. But if you are connected to internet during the installation process, you might be prompt for login to your Microsoft account. Click next. 
it will take a few little time to get everything ready for you. Congratulations! You have just installed a fresh copy of Windows 10.